Hi, this is Anusha from UV Associates Arden and you are watching part 7 of the Blender tutorial series Blending Made Easy. Let's get started. Let me describe the changes that I have made to the default scene. In this tutorial, we are going to have a more detailed discussion on materials. We'll assign multiple materials to an object in textures. And that's why what I have done is I have split this button window into two parts so that we can have the preview of our material all the time. And I'll just move on to this part. We have already selected the shading panel and the materials material button sub panel. Now let's get rid of this default cube of ours and add mesh plane. Notice that all these things are empty right now. That is because only the default cube has a default material associated with it. Now for this plane, you can either select from the existing materials, we have our default material over here, or you can click on add new to give a new material, to create a new material. Alright, now let's rename this material to red material and since it's not a red material, let's make it red material. Alright, now you can see a slider over here. This actually indicates number of materials associated with this object and on which material you are right now. So we are right now on one of one. That means we just have one material associated to our object. To increase that number, let's go to the editing sub panel, uh, sorry, editing panel and then let's click on in the links and materials tab let's click on new now you can see that the slider shows two mat two let's click this new two more times so that we have four materials now what we are going to do is we're going to go back to our shading panel and see that the slider has changed over here also we'll have to define all of these materials now don't select them from here scroll them through this list Okay, so one ma uh, four mat one that is material four of uh, sorry material one of four. Now we'll go to the material two and we'll make it green material. And let's change the color. Then let's go to third, make it a blue material. Change the color and. Okay, let's take a yellow material this time. Alright, so here you are. You have created four new materials and there is an existing default material. Notice that that is preceded by a O, which means often. This means that this material does not have any users and it will be deleted as soon as you exit from this project. Be very careful about this. If you want to save a often material in your project, then please click on F which means that this material will be associated with a fake user so that it will not get deleted when you exit this project. Okay. Now next what we are going to do is we are going to go to the editing panel and we're going to assign different materials to different faces of this plane but right now we just have one face so let's click on W and do a subdivide now we have four faces control tab and click on faces now we'll take this face and go to the index 2 and select click on assign similarly go to the third face third index assign and here fourth index assign now your plane has four faces each with a different color okay remember that these materials that you have taken the names you have given all of them are case sensitive that means a yellow capital MAT is different from yellow small MAT okay all right so that's all about assigning multiple materials to an object in this tutorial now we'll move on to assigning uh, some textures to the, these materials. Okay.
So right now we are on the yellow material as you can see from the preview. Let's assign it a new texture and let's rename it as yellow green stripes. Okay. Now we'll go to the texture sub panel and over here you can see that we have this preview window here also. Now let's select wood and notice this in the preview window. This is our texture but now where this horrific magenta has come from. So let's go back to the material panel and then let's go to the last that is a texture tab and in our map to section click on a different color. Let's take this blue and now let's do a render. So you have this plane over here with four different colors assigned to four faces and here you have the stripes that is a texture assigned to this face. Okay. Similarly you can assign textures to each of the materials in your object. So that's all for now. This is how to assign different materials with different textures to a single object. Thanks for watching and happy blending.